Your boy Fahim, um, your friendly epidemiologist by day and a gamer at night. Uh, so I just, uh, for those who have uh, been following me, I have a couple of announcements to make. Um, those who've actually been watching my streams consistently or for the first time last week. Uh, so the first announcement is I'm going to be switching my streaming platform from YouTube to Twitch. So basically I'm going to be streaming on Twitch and then um, for those who want to watch my videos, I'm going to upload it onto YouTube. So I'm going to be doing that. Uh, and then the second news is that I'm, I'm going to be doing, uh, hold on one second. Yeah, uh, okay. Um, yeah, so the second news is I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be doing another uh, another uh, thing. So basically I'm going to be doing reaction videos on Saturdays. Uh, so every Friday at 8, I'm going to be playing Crusaders Kings 3, and I'm going to be playing it for an hour and a half instead of just one hour. Uh, and then on Saturdays, um, I'll probably try to keep it at 8 as well. I'm going to make a reaction video about, you know, whatever topic floats my uh floats my boat or you know catches my interest i have one in particular that i kind of want to talk about but you know i'll you know i'll let you guys see that come saturday uh but yeah for sure i will definitely keep everyone uh updated on you know what my plans are in terms of my streaming and whatnot but yeah as for now uh for for now fridays at eight I'm gonna be streaming crusaders kings 3 consistently at eight and then Saturdays, I'm going to be doing uh, reaction content. Uh, and I'll be streaming it all from Twitch. And then if, for those who, you know, can't watch my Twitch streams, I'm going to upload it to my YouTube channel, uh, Fahim P1989. Um, and I'll I'll have a link or whatever. Or, well, you should be able to watch it. But, but anyway, yeah. So, uh, so last week when I was playing Crusaders Kings 3... Um, for those who were watch, uh, who were watching me play, uh, I had quite the struggle trying to conquer a county of mine, or a, an opposing county of mine. Sorry, I'm trying to word it properly. There was a county below me that I was trying to uh, take over. Unfortunately, the person. Uh, uh, thank you, Jasna, for uh, telling me it's alive. <laughs> but yeah. So the problem that I was having is that I was trying to take over the chiefdom of Hadramaut. Unfortunately, uh, the problem was that, for one, they had a better commander. I think the commander's uh, like uh, martial level was 18. And my commander's, uh, hold on, let me see. Yeah, my best, my best fighter, his prowess is, hold on, let me see, let me see. I go to my council. Yeah, my commander's uh, martial level is 11. So, two things. They had a better commander, and they had they were on good terrain. Uh, so it was hard for me. Every time I fought them, I would lose because you know, the terrain I was fighting against them on sucked for me. So there wasn't really much I could do. Let's see. You convert county so yeah so that's basically where i'm at so what i'm going to end up doing is i'm going to try and raise up enough money to uh to purchase one of these mercenary armies so that way i should have you know more of a numerical advantage so you know the terrain isn't you know as effective and uh usually with mercenary leaders like i think this guy uh where so yeah like for example this guy he costs 199 gold, but his martial level is 17, so he's an excellent commander. Um, and, uh, you know, because he's a pretty good defender, in case they attack me, you know, I won't lose as much when I'm fighting. Um, but yeah, that's my plan. I'm going to try and save up enough to get a mercenary army in addition to my own and try and take over this county. Um, let's see, convert county. Let's see, I could try to convert the county. I wonder how long. Yeah, it's gonna take six years, but you know what? Why not? Why not? I have more than enough piety. So yeah, I could try to convert. In six years time, this entire county will be a smiley. Um, so the faith will be the same and 
the culture is the same as mine so i don't have to worry about you know my people in my land rebelling against me even though last time i do remember that, the, that they're increasing their military powers so in about a year's time you know they could uh send an ultimatum um but luckily uh what they're asking for is lower county control so they're not trying to rebel against me they're they're not trying to kick me out of power so that's a good thing um so for now uh it's just a matter of uh, what you would call it it's just a matter of building up enough gold to get a mercenary army uh, to take over this uh, county right here of Hadramat. Um so yeah I can declare wars but right now my army is kind of weak and I think I need to develop more land actually let me see if I can do that I can increase the development yeah if I can huh I wonder if I could. Wait. Okay, so if I increase the development by one, all right, because I remember last week I wasn't able to do it because there was some development penalty, but I think that's been subverted somehow. Um, so you know, I'll, I'll I'll take it. So if I can further increase the development of my county, you know, I can possibly have you know, larger armies in, in that county and, you know, better buildings. So let me go ahead and play this. Let's see what happens in the meantime. In about, in about a month's time, I should increase the development in this county. Let's see what I can do. Yep. So also uh, another thing I wanted to mention when, when you're no longer in war and when you're uh, you know at peace, this right here your soldiers will start to uh, your, they'll start to replenish themselves pretty quickly and as they replenish, um, you have uh, which we call it you have monthly maintenance. So like each uh, so for example each uh, men at arms uh, full maintenance um, when you're actually at war is zero point three. Uh, prestige per month but when it's on raise at 0 0.1 um i think in my other game it was actually gold that was the full maintenance so you know you uh it gives you the total amount of soldiers you can have and it, there's like some unraised maintenance which you know prevents you from spending so much to maintain your military obviously you don't need to maintain a military when you're at peace so so that's just something to keep in mind so right now like once uh uh, once this bar, this little blue bar is completely filled, I'll have 555 total soldiers. Um, I'll have 350 levies and 200 light footmen, which, uh, yeah, I need to, I need to try and increase my military as quickly as I can. Uh, so let's see, I keep playing. take a look at my uh yeah my popular fan is so damn low ah <laughs> uh, yes they're upset i know although I, I don't think that's gonna last anytime soon but yeah once i can convert the faith this will you know this will go down and then the offensive war penalty will also go down um mind you this wouldn't have been a thing if i'd won so you know but and also, it wasn't a holy war, so that's also another thing. I uh, just—it was a straight conquest. Um, so if it had been a holy war, then you know my people would have been like, "All right, cool, that's fine. We're not gonna hate you as much." But since it was a straight conquest, then yeah. Uh, let's see what else. Else can't loot anything. Oh, because I've been raided. Oh, they can't loot me. Never mind. Uh, I wonder if I can make a building. Oh yeah, I forgot buildings are like stupidly expensive. Uh, so one thing uh, I will mention um, early on in early on when you're playing Crusaders Kings three, you don't have to worry about building building so much. Like you want to develop your counties that you have conquered or what have you, but you don't have to worry about building building so much um, until you have like a you know pretty decent sized empire, 
and then if there's like specific counties that you want to develop and put buildings onto you can do so and usually the counties that you'll conquer especially if like you conquer very well off counties um let's see i'm trying to find one that's like really developed actually let me do that let's see development like for example if i was able to uh take over mecca like it's a very well developed county you know look the tax is insane uh yeah the development is 12 so like and it had already has a couple of uh, buildings so if i were to conquer mecca you know i have the small plantations i have the great mosque of mecca uh, which is a special building which you know you don't have to worry about that right now um but basically this would be under my possession and i would get the benefits from you know holding this land um so gaining mecca would be very important for me uh you know once i get to that point that will obviously you know i'd have the holy land of all islam so so yeah let's see let's see let's see hold on let me see if i increase the development well okay now i can let me see if i switch to the domain taxes Yeah, a little bit more money, but not a whole lot more. Hmm. I think also because I am currently not at war, I could switch this from uh, organizing levies to training commanders. And what that'll do is that'll help me to improve or find a new commander or a knight each month. And if I can do that, if I can have more, you know, stronger knights to fight for me or better commanders, then I can turn the tide of, you know, whatever war I'm a part of. Uh, so, is it a possible side effects are, you know, your commander gains a commander trade or the knights that are in your employer, they're improved, their prowess is improved. So that means you have stronger knights. Uh, the side effects, though, is that your commander could be wounded, maimed, or even killed while you're training them. But I think it's worth the risk to, you know, go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for now. Um, I'm not, I'm, no one's going to fight each other anytime soon. So, And I apologize for the slow pace of the game. If I if I had started in, like, uh, in my other, in my earlier area in Sedania, this probably would have been a lot more... Uh, there would probably would have been a lot more action um only because there's a lot more land to like for me to conquer um but if i do do another video another empire building segment uh i will definitely you know do something from here and you're up i might even do like the the kingdom of Brittany or the county of leon just to make things more interesting not that this isn't already interesting <laughs> enough um but i definitely i definitely think that uh that I will go more towards the European bent next time. But for now, I'm here. I'm in the middle of the Arabian Desert, and I got to make do with what I have. So let me see if there's anything I could do decisions-wise. I don't want to go on a pilgrimage yet, um, even though it would give me a trait called Pilgrim, which you know increases my piety. But I don't need piety right now. I have plenty of that. What I do need is prestige and gold to be able to buy a mercenary army. Um, let's see. Oh, I haven't checked in on my family either. So let's see. He is a thinker. Okay, my wife is... I don't know if I should have a villain teaching my son my... I do plan on making him my main heir, although, now that I think about it, I have... Well, let me do this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I have three sons and one daughter. And my first son was Ahmad Mohamed Zaleh Safavid, and right now he's my current heir. Uh, he has pretty decent stats. Uh, I'm trying to see who else. Let's see. This guy, though, he is intelligent. A lot more intelligent than my other children. What I could do is uh, make him my player heir. 
and basically, uh, I'm not worried about that right now since there's only one plot of land. Um, it doesn't, even if I die right now, my, uh, uh, what is it? My eldest son would uh, inherit the title of nobody else, so I don't have to worry about the, the county fracturing. Um, but if I had, like, all of this, then I would have to, you know, figure out how to divvy up the land. Which, there's a simple way to, you know, um, keep it all under one person's land, uh, one person's rule. And I'll explain that, you know, as I progress. But for now, I'm just going to keep playing. Let's see. Yeah, luckily it's just lower county control. Which is fine, it's not like any independence or anything like that. So I don't have to worry about any of that madness. Let's see. Oh. Uh, no. Nothing good. <sighs> Man, I really got the short end of the stick this time around. But, I did want a challenge, so this is what I have to work with. Let's see, developments three. Oh, hold on, let me see. What I've come to expect to, while well, I have come to expect mischief from my son and Herr Ahmed, his creativity keeps me on my toes. When it's not a prank, it's a brawl, a disgruntled tutor, or Gray's niece from an adventure gone wrong. <laughs> oh, so he's rowdy. Okay, so, you know, he's, and is he is he's my player heir. Okay. That's awesome. So an increase in martial skill. So basically what happens as your kids age and if you're the if you're the direct uh, guardian of this child, like in this case, I am the direct uh, I'm the direct ward. Uh, so I should probably clarify. My son is my ward and a ward is basically someone that is being educated by a guardian, which that's me. I'm the guardian of my son, obviously. Um, so as I educate my son, like, and if you educate your children directly, you'll have these events pop up where they'll gain these, uh, you know, child initial, they'll gain a childhood trait. And then over time, as they grow older, they'll start to gain their personality traits. Like they'll you know, become brave or just, or, you know, gluttonous or whatever the case may be. Um, and you have options to mold your children's personalities. Um, but you'll, you'll see as the game progresses. But in this case, uh, when it comes to childhood trait, there's nothing, you know, there's nothing to uh, modify or adjust or anything. And Rowdy is a pretty good childhood trait. You know, it gives my son, you know, more uh, martial skill and more intrigue, which could aid him once he takes over. So let's see here. Right now my stress level is at 40, which is okay. Um, I don't need to worry about it too much. Uh, let me see what else. Duty focus. And in the next 10 months, I'll be able to unlock another perk, uh, which on that note, I could go towards levy reinforcement rates, which will increase you know, how quickly I can reinforce my uh, armies, which obviously if I'm fighting, if I'm fighting in a war, which will help me greatly because I can get my army up to speed quicker than the other person and I can attack them, attack them more often. Um, I could do that. I could do golden obligations. I can demand payment for hooks, but I'm not too worried about that. Right. I, I could get it and then, you know, uh, go down to war profiteer so I can increase my income while I'm at war. So, uh, whatever maintenance I have for my uh, armies, it won't hit me as hard because I am making some income while I'm at war. Uh, I can also do the my domain, uh, which allows me to extort my subjects, which honestly wouldn't be the worst option now that I think about it because I can just, you know, flat out just tell my subjects, hey, you got to pay up. But that also incur their uh, hatred and wrath, and that could lead to like independence factions, which is obviously something I don't want. But I got plenty of time. Like, even getting this next perk will take me, like, what was it, 10 months? So I got plenty of time to decide. Yeah, so right now I do have uh, a stronger army than he does. He's just, he's on better terrain, so I can't really do anything. Um, and, you know, he has a better commander. So it's going to be hard for me to uh, do anything.
I don't even know if he's I don't even remember if he he was the commander, but That's not him. Let's see, Faris. Where is? Yep, there it is. So actually, his marshal is not is not as good. But I don't know if he was the actual commander of the army, because usually they'll also do the same thing. They'll uh, whoever has the highest marshal skill, they're the ones that are, are going to lead the army. Um, but I don't see anyone in his court that has an insanely high martial skill other than his martial, uh, which is interesting. So I could technically attack him once, uh, once my truce is up in four years. So I could attack him and, you know, go for his land again. Um, but, you know, it remains to be seen if I could, you know, if I can hire a mercenary army and then go to war with them then that'll be ideal because i can have my army and the mercenary army take over take over those lands but we'll see we will see let's see court nobody nobody's come to my court whoops hold on what is this nice nice just what i wanted to see but again, it's okay. It's just lower county control. I can deal with that. As long as it's not independence. I'm not too worried about it. And then once I eventually convert the faith in my county, or in the county that I own, I'll never really have this issue of, you know, my peasants rebelling against me in my own county that I own. So. Oops. Oh. Hello. Oh, Pernagnet. Yeah. Let's see. I love that little stork. <laughs> It's probably one of the best things they have in the game. <laughs> sweet, sweet. So, yeah, one, once I start conquering lands, um, the fact that I have, like, three sons already will start to be a little bit of an issue. But, you know, I can try to work around it. And I have, a, I guess, a foolproof plan uh, to deal with that for now. But I don't have to worry about that yet. Let's see. I'm going to keep playing, keep playing. And I know for a lot of people watching this, like it is a bit slow, like nothing much is going on right now, but this is a grand strategy game. So this does give me time to think about what it is I want to do. Um, and I'm thinking about uh, trying to shorten the video. Um, and my, uh, once I post this on YouTube, um, I don't know if I, uh, if I want to, uh, to have like an entire if the entirety of this video posted or if i could just you know cut the videos to the main you know uh the main events that happened uh, in this particular run but you know i'll see i'll figure it out uh, once i get to that point um yeah so right now increased opinion your know, marshall oglob has a low opinion of you increasing it with a personal scheme yeah i could sway him which yeah that's fair So obviously I don't want my marshal going against me for now. I don't have anybody to replace him, which kind of sucks. But yeah, actually, do I have anyone to replace this guy? I really have... nope. God, I got chancellors with sucky diplomatic skills. Jesus. Like the rest of my court's okay. Like my court of mom is good. My steward's decent. My spy master's decent. Hell, even my marshal's decent. Oh, uh, my chancellor, though, is just, ugh. So. Yeah, and I could I could do, uh, make, make him focus on domestic affairs, which will increase my direct vassal, uh, increase the opinion of my direct vassals. But he has such a low skill that it's not even worth it. And I don't need their opinion of me lowered even more. So I'm just going to keep it at foreign affairs for now. Uh, so. That's fine. I'd, like I said, I did want a challenge, and, uh, you know, here it is. Let's see, I have 471 piety. And I don't want to take over Mara. I can't, anyway, because they have a much stronger army than I do. I could try to 
I yeah, I can't even <laughs> I can't even go for uh Jawafia Yamani. Uh yeah, I'm pretty pretty stuck. Like Hadramat is literally the only enemy I can attack. Uh if I needed to conquer more lands. Uh, and honestly, the next, like, even if I conquer this guy, this next person is going to be even harder because he's literally just all desert mountain and he has a stronger military. Um, so it'll be hard to hard to take over. But if I can take these two, two pieces of land over, then, you know, I'll have a solid base to start, you know, taking over the bottom part of the Arabian Peninsula. And then I can try to, you know, pretty much have this entire area. For now, that'll be a short-term goal. Um, obviously, my long-term goal for those who, you know, haven't, you know, seen me play this. Like, I want to be able to have the entire Middle East to myself, eventually. Uh, right now, the Abbasid Empire, at you know, at this point is the clear, uh, is the big dog of, you know, of Islam. They have the biggest empire. But, you know, that's subject to change as more and more as more and more of these countries and lands gain power, you know, even the Byzantine Empire, as they gain power, you know, sometimes they'll go to war. So, you know, their power can be eaten away at. And that's kind of what I'm hoping for is for their power to be eaten away at. Because right now, if I were to go to war against the Abbasids, I would be wrecked. He, this guy has, what are you doing, man? <laughs> Hold on. I'm sorry. My dog is uh, tr currently trying to gain some space. Hold on. Do you, you want me to move some of the stuff? Is this is this better? There you go. Oh, 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 hold on. Hold on. Hold on. There you go. Sorry about that, guys. My dog loves sitting in the corner with me, and I was kind of blocking his path, so yeah. <laughs> you okay, bud? That's... You got it? You got your corner? Sweet. All right, so he should be good now. Um, but yeah, so basically, yeah, I would be decimated if I ever tried to attack the Abbasids right now. Uh, probably, I probably won't even be able to attack them until like, you know, 100 years into my rule. Uh, and I'm not worried about attacking them. If anything, I'd probably want to make an alliance with them. So I don't have to worry about them just being like, hey, there's this empire forming at the bottom of uh of our peninsula we should probably take care of that yeah i don't want any of that <laughs> so so for now i'm just gonna worry about you know trying to conquer all of this but first things first i gotta take care of hadramat um and obviously if i have these two areas then it's gonna be hard for you know these counties to attack me as well since i you know i'm on this terrain um so yeah so right now it's just a matter of being patient and, you know, trying to build up my armies and whatnot. And I could continue the development, actually. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to continue developing. Oh, wow, 15 years? Jesus Christ. That's fine. i take that back. I guess I'll just continue collecting taxes. <laughs> yeah, I'm just either going to have to wait for, you know some court members to come through my court and uh you know that i can basically recruit to my court or you know i have to wait for more uh more champions or yeah more champions to uh to fight for me but for now it, it's just a matter of waiting uh, excuse me Like I said, it's okay. Like, this wasn't going to be easy, and I knew this wasn't going to be easy, but that's, that's you know, how the cookie crumbles. Let's see. What are you chewing, man? Oops. Let's see, in about, what? Yeah, in about 56 days, I should be able to pick my next perk. Which, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I'll probably go to, uh, uh, I ah, can't even say the word. Avericariot? Oh, you know what? I'm not even going to try to say the word. <laughs> Avericius? Yeah, I think that's how I say it. 
but whatever. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go down, go down this tree, and uh, yeah, if I eventually gain the trait, you know, increase my stewardship and my holding taxes, which means like every one of my counties that I have will pay me 50% more gold, which obviously will, you know, help my income. Um, I could also go down the administrator uh, uh, tree, which I don't have to worry about claiming a throne since I don't have a liege. Uh, and also, the uh, good thing with the administrator tree is if I go down this way, I can increase the loyalty amongst my vassals and stuff, and uh, increase my overall like uh, popular opinion. Which hold on, where is it? Well, it's uh, oh, god damn it. So the direct vassal opinion will be increased by ten. My liege's opinion will increase, be increased by 20. Obviously, I don't, have to, I don't have a liege, which I'm not worried about. And then, you know, the positions of power perk. My counselors, they'll have a greater opinion of me, so I don't have to worry about my council backstabbing me. Um, and then my powerful vassals, you know, the vassals that have a lot of lands within my territory, their tax and levy contributions will be higher, which actually will, you know, work out very well in terms of increasing my military size but this is more of a later game this is when I actually have lands and stuff to you know uh, divvy out but I might I might do either administrator or avaricious I haven't decided yet but bro what are you doing man <laughs> you need to stop <laughs> You know, I got some time. And I'm slowly building up my gold. Uh, these people might raid me again. Oh, no. Another one. <laughs> Another son. Heck yeah. Let's see. Actually, let me see what his stats are. Oh, he's intelligent too. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm gonna educate him. I wonder who I can. Nope. Hmm. I could have one of my wives educate him. Yeah. This boy will be more of a martial, martial leader, which I could have him, you know, command my armies if his uh, martial skills get up high enough. Oh, perfect! You perk. All right. So, if if I'm looking more short short term, I would do the levy reinforcement rate because once I actually go into war, I want to be able to reinforce my armies very quickly so I could, you know. Uh, go back into the fight quicker um, if I want to play a more uh, long-term game then administrator would be the way to go and uh, yeah gaining the administrator trade will help my diplomacy and my stewardship um, architect I'm not worried about too much and honestly I probably shouldn't have not gone down this tree but I think it's really more so for the levy reinforcement rate because I'm not worried about building uh, building construction too much in the early part of the game uh, uh, the other reason why is also you know the popular figurehead perk which increases my subjects opinion of me so you know now actually now that I think about it I probably would want to go down this road because I don't have to worry about my subjects you know being against me actually you know what yeah I think I'm gonna just do that I'm just you know, have my armies be reinforced quicker. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. There you go. I wonder who he's gonna attack. Okay, so it's not me. Cool, perfect. I don't really mind, it's just, you know. I would rather not, uh, lose gold when I'm trying to build up to it. Oh! 
Our Marshal Aglov has been shown off a promising new recruit. He may not be of as noble stock as you, my liege, but on my name I swear that Faribor is someone you would want on your side. Oh, really? Okay, let's see. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Boys, I think I found my commander. Holy crap. 19 Marshal. Okay. Okay, all right, all right. Brilliant strategist. Okay. He's a winter soldier. Okay. And even if they attack me. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah, no. He, 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 he is. Yeah. He is serving me. And not only that, I am going to switch out my marshal. I'm going to make Faribors here. Because now I have a really good commander. Also, he's younger. Uh, he's five years younger than my current marshal. I know this guy's going to hate me for it, but I think having him as my military commander, well, yeah. There you go. <laughs> hey, uh, hey guys. Hey, man. Uh, this guy's a really good fighter. He, he definitely is worth, you know, having on your team. Oh, he's an excellent commander. All right, I'm going to hire him. And I'm gonna, you know, make sure he takes your position. But, 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 why? Why you do this to me, man? <laughs> oh, man. Now, what I could do is, let's see here. Which is fine, he has pretty good prowess anyway. Yeah, yeah. My my knights suck, but at least with him, I have a pretty good commander. So that's you know that's important for me. I can, and with better commanders, you usually will, you know, be able to have bigger armies. Which actually, on that note, if I do this, see, there you go, five hundred seventy-five soldiers now. So my military is slowly uh, slowly growing. Uh, it's just now I have to wait for the truce to finish. And now I have a commander that's equal to the commander that they have, if not better. Um, yeah, there's nobody. I mean, maybe this Halil guy, which was their current marshal. But yeah, honestly, if he's their marshal, I should be able to, you know, take this land over my armies are bigger i have a better commander so hopefully that can offset the terrain difference but i'm gonna have to wait three years before i could attack him again oh and this ultimatum in one month's time and i'm about to be raided which is okay even if i raise an army i'm not I'm not in any position to That's fine, whatever. If anything, if these two attack each other... Uh, oh, wow. Another Pernagonet. Let's see, which... This is Zeri, right? Oh, yay, she's pregnant. Let's see. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, he's charming. Nice. He's charming and he's a... T okay, wow, this... <laughs> This may come down to which son I think has the best stats <laughs> at this point. Wow. <laughs> oh, this is this is gonna provide an interesting dilemma. Again, that's fine. Not much I can do. Um, and if anything, if these two engage each other, that could actually work out in my benefit because his army will be weakened. Again, I'm not in a position. Like, that's fine. I can give them more control. It's not a big deal, and they'll increase their opinion of me. So there, now I don't have to worry about that. I 
I know it sucks it's not the greatest, but it is what it is at this point. And control is something I can, you know, maintain. And there's certain there's certain events or certain notifications that let you know that hey, your marshal did his job and increased the control in your county. So, you know. So now it's just a matter of waiting and seeing. Oh, what is this? Hold on. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, I hate my life. <laughs> Let's see. I will avenge it and uh, I am detained. Sweet. Okay. I don't have to worry about swaying him anymore. Wait, he's... Oh yeah, he's my former commander. That's right. I love how I like, completely forgot, him one forgot about him once I... Uh, um, once I got the new commander. Oh, my command... Oh, wow. My counselor died. Ugh. Let's see. Courtiers. Naturally. Wow. Wow. Jesus Christ. Oh, that's right, that's right. I gotta... Hold on. Well, that sucks. Wait, can I negotiate my own ransom myself? Alright, cool. Uh, I've lost money, but whatever. I don't really got a choice in the matter. And then let me. Gotta hire a steward, which unfortunately is gonna have to be this guy. And then once I can get my commander back. I should have a council again. God, this sucks. Oh my god. It's so much time. I know, I know. What is our prowess? That's no, not the greatest. That's fine. I'll pay him. Man, I really got shafted with my start. Yeah, 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 whatever, man. Let's see. Yep. Perfect. I know I just gave him way more gold than I wanted to, but it's important that I get my commander back. Interesting, interesting. This could actually play out to my benefit. Because hmm. right now, he's being raided as well. And these two might engage each other, which could weaken him. Um, but if he's successful in his raiding, then the uh, then the garrison or whatever, the city itself, uh, Shibam, could be easier to take. Um if I do defeat this army when I do go to war. So it's a matter of uh it's a matter of being patient. I know it sucks for me that I have to deal with this crap, but <laughs> let's see. Ransom. Mm. Let's see. For now. I know this is callous of me, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. I have a lot of kids, so 
I have literally one, two, three, four. I have four sons lined up, which, and again, I know this sounds callous, but the main reason for marrying, you know, is to get a primary heir in this game to continue the game uh, for you. Um, she's already done her job by supplying me. Well, she she didn't even supply me a son, which again it's fine. But like, I already got a son from my main wife, two of them, and from uh, from this woman right here, I gained my first son, my my player heir. The pers uh the son is gonna take over for me once uh um once I die. So for now, it's not worth trying to bail her out of jail. And for my son, you know, I could actually bail him out of Joe. I don't need his stats going down in case you know he needs to be the main heir so I'll bail him out yes yes I know he's just a sack of me for my money oh let's see will they catch up will they catch up come on catch up do it fight yeah <laughs> let's see who wins this Oh, wait. Oh, that's there. Ooh, they got no commander. Oh, that's GG. See, but this is what I'm talking about. Once the other army loses their commander, it goes from, like, somewhat equal to pretty much just a landslide victory. So, yeah. Their commander, his, his martial skill is okay, but not nearly to the... Uh, now they're, ah, English. Now they're to the martial skill of my current commander. So, I just have to wait a couple more years and I can fight him again and take over his lands. Uh, once I do that, then I can start making headway towards, you know, a stronger empire. It just sucks that I have to play the long game and be patient. Then pray that nobody attacks me and tries to ransom my shit. But... It's rough. <laughs> it really is. Ooh, let's see. My contacts have sent me his home, written some strange code. It's leather covers direct decorated with my master symbols. I've only been able to decipher the first few pages so far, but they are deeply fascinating. Hmm. Ooh. Let's see. Ooh, okay. Interesting. See, these are the types of decisions I like to make in the game. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. Not worried about this. I don't need to find out that my wife's a witch. Otherwise, well, yeah. If I unlock its secrets, I will gain more stress. But... But I'll also gain a stewardship lifestyle perk, which the more perks I can get, the quicker I can get them, the better it'll be for me in the game long term. Um, you know what? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Got that new perk. Let's see. And I'm going to try and go for the popular figurehead so that way I'll have a higher opinion. I, right now, for me, it's more important to like secure my loyalty and stuff because once you have... Once your subjects have a higher opinion of you, you can gain more levies, you can gain more taxes. You know, it starts to snowball, especially as you gain lands. Um, so, go ahead and do that. Yeah, and you guys may have noticed that it went from like 500... God, Jesus Christ. It went from like 577 to 421. That's mainly because the control has gone down uh, in my county. So I can't uh, recruit as much soldiers. Uh, yeah. So for now, it is what it is. But if I do fight him, I feel like I probably could beat him. Um, yeah. Yeah. Actually, I don't know. I don't know. I take that back. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, 
as you can see, like with the lack of control, it's harder for me to gain levies and taxes. Um, but that can change pretty quickly. Actually, in fact, I could probably increase the control in my county. Seven years, Jesus Christ. There is a chance that I could completely remove the county corruption. Yeah, I, I, I could go for it. Why not? I'm not in any wars. And I can always switch to organizing levies once I'm ready to go to war. But let's see. So I keep playing. It's unfortunate, but, you know, it is what it is. And ideally, if I can take over this and build up enough of an army and go after this guy, because right now he doesn't have any alliances, and if I can conquer his duchy, then now I have a really solid base and my path towards taking over this uh, this bottom part of the peninsula will come into fruition. A daughter? Ooh. Let's see. Soraya. Yeah, I love that name. Actually, let me see what her stats are. Oh, she's also intelligent. Yay, yay. It's so weird having like four wives and so many kids. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god. Actually, let me see if there's anything I could. So... I could go on a hunt and reduce the amount of stress I have right now. Because you don't want stress to build up because then it affects, you know, your health and your fertility and whatnot. I'm not worried about the fertility so much as I'm, like, still 23 years old. And I hate saying this, but even if all something happens to my kids and my wives, I can always just remarry and, you know, go from there. So I'm still fairly young. but But in this case, um, if I go for a hunt, I can reduce the stress. And it only costs 17 gold. At this point, I'm not I'm earning money slowly because of the lack of control in my county. But I can lose the stress and I can gain prestige, which will help me declare war. So let me go ahead and do that. And there's certain events in these hunts that you know could gain me more stuff. Come on. It usually takes like a month for the... Yep. You would think it a creature from myth. Perhaps a god disguised in animal form. It was the largest stack I've ever seen. Even after the beast was wounded, the chase lasted half a day. It is still an imposing sight, lying dead before me. This one will fetch a fine price. I will have a beautiful trophy made for my wife. I don't have to worry about her opinion, so obviously I'm going to sell this and, you know, basically make a profit off of my hunt. Which, like I said, you know, these hunts can have certain events that'll, you know either boost your income, your prestige, or even both. Yep, returning from the wild. I gained 150 prestige and my hunt ends. Sweet. And I've lowered my stress. Beautiful. It's an excellent hunt. I could also host a feast in a couple years time, but I'm not worried about that too much. And I can invite an us run or champions in three years time. So... Yep, it's just a matter of being patient, that's all. So as the control returns to my county, I'm able to increase my uh, taxes and gain more army, uh, gain more levies. For my army so this number will steadily start to go back up you know as i increase the control in my county uh, obviously i had no choice uh, and that dude raiding me kind of put a dent in my plans of hiring a mercenary army to take over this land but even then i still think i can take over oh what's Is chief this and spy master cooperate oh nice cool 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 heck yeah Yeah. 
Is there anything else I can do? Nope. Nope. <laughs> She's telling <laughs> Jeff. I'm sorry, babe. I'm sorry. I can't let you out yet. It's it's. I, I'm I'm playing this long game right now, so I'll I'll bail you out once I have enough money. But for now, I uh, yeah, yeah. You're gonna have to stay there for a bit. Uh, let's see. Do I have any? I don't have. Oh wait. No, no, it's the same dude. God dang it. My best marshal could also be my best ca chancellor, which is really dumb. But, yeah, for now, I need him to lead my armies. Uh, let's see. Let me see. Uh, I need to see if he's... Oh, I see. Okay, okay, interesting, interesting. Oh, this works out beautifully. Because they're basically gonna have, they're bas it's basically gonna be a stalemate. He's basically gonna defend this land, and this dude is going to try and conquer it. Obviously, all things being equal, like they're just gonna, you know, go into a stalemate. The only, my only concern is if his uh, military or his commander is strong enough. But I do remember that when they did fight, their uh, military commander died. So, and they don't really have anyone that has the same military uh, uh, strength, or, yeah, martial strength as their commander. So, the Hadramat people will win against the Kanda Sukun uh, folk. So, if they can weaken each other, by the time 8, 876 hits, I could just come in and, you know, conquer his lands pretty easily. If all things, you know stay stay equal but we'll see what happens we'll see we'll see how this plays out this might actually work out to my benefit the worst case scenario is if he actually beats him and conquers his conquers his county because now i have to fight against him and it's going to be it's going to be very difficult to you know get out of this situation i would li literally have to wait to have enough money to buy a mercenary army to you know conquer all of this um, that'd be the only way to win. I could raid. Actually, hold on. Do they have any... Yeah, they only have... Uh, yeah, they don't have anything for me to loot. I could. Well, I could loot them. It's only three gold. It's not worth raising my army for. I could loot them, but they have a strong army, and I don't want to decimate my army. And same with this guy. As so much as I want to, you know, raid and loot, um, and there's no point in raiding this guy since there's nothing I can gain, and he has his army there. And again, they have nothing for me to loot as well. So I don't know why they're making the suggestion. And I'm not going to declare war yet. I'm gonna hold off, be patient. I don't know why he's not attacking him though. That is very strange. Is he building up his army? Buying a mercenary army? I don't know what he's doing. I mean, he has 98 gold, so I don't know. If he even has enough to buy a mercenary army. Hmm, what is he doing? Hmm. Another Pernagonet. Another child. Boom, boom. Yeah. This will be a problem once I start getting older and once I have more land, but for now. Pop out as many sons and daughters as you want, people. Go for it. <laughs> Let's see here. Why are you not attacking him? Just attack him. Jesus. Let's see. Is there anything I could do? Go on a hunt. Oh, wait. I can't do that. Host a feast. Yeah. Not much I can do right now. Hold on. 
me see my quart. Gulshan Rumi. Hmm. Fortunately, I can't make her a new mom, otherwise she'd be great at it. I could make her a spy master, but... I mean, that'd be a plus one increase in intrigue. And she's more of a learner than a spy master anyway. So there'd be no point. God, I wish I could make her a mom. Jesus Christ. That is insane. That would basically uh, help me convert the faith in my county much quicker uh, if I had her as my mom as opposed to this guy. Which, I mean, he's, his stats aren't bad, but it's not to her, uh, not to her level. God, man, gender equality in 1875, or not 18, 875. It, it needs to be a thing. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, I'm slowly converting the faith. I'm slowly increasing the control. The only thing I can do for now, uh, let's see, we got about 30 more minutes, right? Yeah. Once, once I, once I conquer this area and ideally this area as well, the game will start to pick up speed, and you'll start to see me make moves left, right, and center. But for now, it's just a matter of biding my time, being patient. And again, as I'm increasing my control, my army uh, size is slowly getting higher. My income is slowly coming up, but it's a slow, 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 slow grind. <laughs> Hmm. I wonder. Hold on. Let me do this. Oh, he's homosexual. Cool. I could seduce him. <laughs> or I could just sway him. Hmm. 40% right now. I could try. Let's see. It won't hurt. If I could sway him, if I can make some sort of alliance with him, that'd be ideal, but in fact, I wonder if I could arrange a marriage. Let's see. And then he won't accept. Is he married? I don't think he's married. He's not married. He does desire an alliance, but I think the main issue for him is he's marrying down. Obviously, if I had more prestige that would be eliminated then this would be an accepted marriage and that way I have access to his armies and if I had access to his armies then I could just run rampant through this guy but I could also see if there's anybody else what about Yahabalabala oh wow he's over there <laughs> cool 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 god my options are limited Jesus Christ Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh wait, let me arrange a marriage. Let me do this. How old is he? Zero. Boom. Boom. Not ah. Let me guess. Marrying down naturally. Ah, oh, Jesus. He's established. I'm established. I mean, I don't know how it's marrying down, but damn it. Let's see how this plays out. All right. 
Hmm. Oh, sweet. Excellent. Let's see. Professional workforce. Again, I'm heading straight for the popular figurehead. Increase the opinion. Boom. Uh, don't have to worry about counties rising up against me, ideally. I could try a sway scheme on him. He does have a son, and if I can increase his opinion of me, if his son marries with my daughter, now I have access to his soldiers, and I can boom, 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 smash this guy in the face. Uh, let me do that. Let me sway him instead. I can also do the same with this guy, but he doesn't really have... And he has a bigger army, which is kind of what I want. Hmm. Well, for now, I'll, I'll keep swaying him. Are you fucking serious? Well, this sucks. see if I can do this. If I send a gift. Let me see. Arranging a marriage between my daughter and himself. He will not accept What? Mar You're not married though, man. Hold on. He's homosexual. Oh, I can't marry a... can't marry a son to him. Ah, oh, damn it. I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place. Jesus Christ. Well, guys, looks like I'm about to be a liege. Is he flat out trying to conquer me? Yeah, he's trying to conquer me. Poop. murder him <laughs> oh this is oh god this sucks so here's the thing even if he takes over my lands um, I'm assuming I've never been in this particular situation before I am assuming that I would be his vassal And with that, I still have autonomy within my own lands, kind of. Like, yes, he is my liege, and I do have to, uh... But what I can do is I can still fight this guy. I can still fight them. And, you know, I would make his empire bigger, yes. But I'd also increase my own power. And once I consolidate enough power, I can, you know, declare my independence from him. I can fight him, declare my independence... And then if I can ally with this guy as well, 
I'll have enough power to, you know, get away from his rule. That's most likely going to be the plan. Kind of sucks that it went, it got to this particular situation, but God, this sucks, man. Oh my God, I can't catch a break. Jesus. Yeah, he's a guest, but not really a good night. Ugh. But unfortunately, he's still better than you're not fighting. And anything I got right now. Jesus, my options are terrible. That's okay. That's okay. Like I said, it's not GG even if he beats me. It's just, I'm probably going to be a vassal of his for sure. Um, but let's see how this goes. I can raise all armies. Yeah. And defend my lands. I'm not going to have much of an opportunity. Like, it is what it is. Guess what, ba guess what, daughter? We're about to be uh, vassals. Can't wait. So much for my plan for conquering this guy. Oh well. <sighs> Frustrating. And smugglers are running rampant throughout the county. Excellent. Excellent. Just what I needed. I'm getting shafted by all the... Oops. Oh, hello. What happened here? Uh, care to explain yourself? Huh. Yeah, I don't need my people thinking I'm a tyrant. And it doesn't matter what I do, obviously. my She's got one eye now. And it was a disease treatment. Okay. Cool. Oh, let's see. Let's see how this works out. Cool, cool, cool. Naturally. And I have no commander. Sweet, 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 sweet. Oh, this sucks, man. I can't catch a break. Jesus Christ.
Lord. Damn, where are you going to Narnia? Jesus Christ. Bro, where are you going? Yay, she's no longer ill. Oh, this sucks. Like, why are you going all the way across the dam? Like, I know you need a retreat, but Jesus Christ. Oh, sucks. Yeah, I'm not going to make it. And he's going to take over my lands. And I'm going to be a freaking vassal. Just what I wanted. Excellent. Naturally. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> oh my god, I cannot catch a break. And all right, well. That sucks. <laughs> oh my god. Well, not how I intended to play the game. Um, that's usually not how that goes, but... <laughs> Holy shit. That... Unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know where to go from here now. Oh, this sucks. Wait, can I continue? Or... Oh, is that GG? Oh, um, yeah, no, I'm not going to do that. I refuse. No. Nope, 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 nope. Yeah, I hate the fact, the one thing I do hate when you create your own ruler is that for whatever reason, it lowers the amount of military that you have, which okay, I guess. Hmm. Well, 
You know what? I don't know what I want to do. I could create a new game, but I think my time's almost up anyway. It's, it's unfortunate. I did want to show you guys how to, uh, you know, how to progress through this game, but I couldn't even make it to the next part of my dynasty. I might, I might do a European version of this so you guys can actually see how this game's played out. Because, holy Jesus, mother of God. I didn't even get a chance to make it out the starting blocks. Felt this was going to be easier. If anything, I probably should have started here. You know, have the train to my advantage. Then not be surrounded by a couple of duchies. Uh, yeah, that, that probably would have been the plan. Or I could have picked. The problem with picking, you know, lands around the Middle Eastern area is that... Uh, you're either surrounded by powerful enemies everywhere, or you're just in you're just in uh, environments that just prevent you from getting off to a good start. Uh, well, it's a lesson learned. Uh, I'll definitely say um, I could I could do another attempt at making an Islamic empire, or I could shift over to the European side and go from there. Um, it has its own challenges, but I have done them before, and it's not nearly as bad. Like, I can actually, you know, conquer land and, you know, show you how all the succession stuff works. But, yeah, holy crap. Like, like I couldn't even get off the starting blocks. Yeah, I think uh, I'll make a decision, and then next week I will... Uh, I'll probably decide whether to go to Europe and uh, start from there or stick around in the Middle East and try again and this time, you know, pick a land that's more conducive to, you know, me actually trying to getting to win. But yeah, that sucked. <laughs> like I did, I, I did, I did do like a difficult challenge with Iron Man and all that, like, you know, not being able to go back and refresh the saves. Like it's one save file and everything, but. It is what it is. It's just unfortunate. But I will be back next week. Like I said, I'll decide whether I want to do, uh, you know, Safavid Empire Part do though, or if I want to, you know, go to Europe and, you know, pick one of these counties and go from there, um, like I did in my first ever campaign. Or I could even do, like, you know, Scandinavia and whatnot and try and take over all of Europe as a Viking plenty of options but for now um i'm gonna i'm gonna head off i'm going to uh try to uh get that get get all of that nastiness out of my mind and uh start over so it was fun guys i will like i said i'll be back next week but i just gotta reset my brain thank you everyone for watching this and uh yeah take care